Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 32 match of CCL season number 45 between Chaos and Vampires. We start off with Thrown Rocks making a Kaz on a Thrall. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Brutal. <laughs> um, yep, it's Ungern with his Vampires and Caution with his Chaos, the Chaos that were number one in the ladder for most of the season. In the booth with me is Calcium. Hello! Ah uh, yeah, how you doing? Oh yeah, not bad, thanks. <laughs> well, we're doing, uh, we're doing better than Ungern's team right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, but playing Dirty Player, just what you want to see against the Killer Chaos team. You know, your Dirty Player wiped out by a rock, turn zero. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, and the Dirty Player, so now the pylons are free, aren't they? Now he's got yeah. completely free yeah. pylons. I don't know how many he's got. Dude, yeah, yeah, Caution's going to flop it all out right now, and he pile on. No F's given. Yep. And it's it's quite a good team he's built, isn't it, during the season here? Full full Legend Claw Pommer. Love to see it with a tackle block juggernaut. Amazing, amazing full He, he was um, top or near top the whole season, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, really good record. Um, Caution's a really good coach. Absolute knobhead, but really good coach, you know, so... Uh, <laughs> That doesn't apply to all French coaches, let me just say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, li I like Caution, he's, he's a good egg. So, uh, and I, I like his team a lot. <laughs> oh, there is a wizard for the Vamps, which does make defending the ball very difficult. So yeah, the Vamps have yeah. got, have got a wizard and a babe. And yeah, like, it, it's a nightmare. Because it, it's like what I found against, against, uh, against Rick, right? Like, by carrying on a rookie, Okay, I was defended. I was defended against the wizard, but it meant that he just it just made his that much more likely for him to get the ball like normally, right? And he he's got a bunch of vampires here that can do things. So you know, there's an argument for just carrying on the other edge four maybe or something. You know, so you've got yeah. some defensive skills for when the vamps come for you. Nope. Another. Of course, it's all going to be a moot point if the vamps eat their own team within the first couple of turns. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's pretty pretty brutal. <laughs> Not what you need against Clawpom, is it? Just removing your own players as well? No. <laughs> that is a lie, FB Deletio. I mean, typical, I guess, from where you're from. No, that was a joke! That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't surrender your views. <laughs> uh, too soon, Jim. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Just a joke. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. And he's got every. This is a pretty great team, right? He's, he's got pretty much everything. He's got really nice warriors. The strength up guard, uh, claw palm warrior, mighty blow block warrior is a bit shit, but uh, never mind. There's only three. Oh, and there's this this claw, so two claw palm warriors with guard. Beautiful. Yeah, really, really nicely built team. Um, the plus strength chaos warrior as well. The only thing that's missing off of that is tentacles, isn't it? Um, yes. And I guess overall tackle, right? There's only two tacklers, which is a that, bit like. But that's enough. That's enough on a chaos team, really, isn't it? You know, because you can. You're only. You're only blitzing with tackle once per turn, anyway. So I, I, I've always found two claw pom tacklers on a chaos team is more than enough. To oh deal yeah, with. but one isn't claw pom, is it? He's just the carrier, so it's. You know that. Ah uh, right. Ah oh, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> like if one of the warriors had tackle or frenzy, yeah. then it seems yeah. a lot better. Yeah. No, I don't like this to retreat at all, but it's hard, right? It's hard because where do you go? You spread out. I think it's already gone wrong before the retreat. This would be a good one to, like, the, the, to look at again properly, like really slowly and really analyze it, I guess, because this is a complete fail at stabilization, isn't it? Um, yeah, I was just thinking then, though, I'm going, I, I didn't like the fact that he was retreating, but literally all his frows were prone on the LOS. So he had little choice but to recover position around them. The last thing you want to do is leave your vampires high and dry without frow support. Yeah, yeah, so I guess that's a good point. Yeah, like by retreating it means that the vamps don't have the thrall support. But 
if you take in the centre, then then yeah, all the, all the throws become relevant and he can go for your balls. Like it's it's hard, man. It's fucking hard against Vamps. It really is, especially Vamps with a wizard, right? It's like Kislev yeah. with a wizard because Kislev yeah. can come for your ball anytime they want, and then when they've got a wizard as well, it's horrendous. And, and yeah, so, yeah, this is this is really really bad spot to be in as caution, to be honest. Especially if there's an Agi five vampire loitering around. Yeah. You know, so that would be an absolute key target. Well, he's got two Agi 5 vampires, which is just disgustrous. If he's going to pile on here, I'm going to uh, be disappointed. No, he doesn't. Good good lad. Good lad not piling on there. I think you shouldn't pile on the Thrall basically ever, right? Just pile on the vamps. <coughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, hands off to a bit of a ball bitch, but I mean, that's just a free 2D on the ball. <laughs> basically, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that doesn't feel optimal <laughs> <laughs> not really a cage here <laughs> not really approaching anything but a cage and in fact oh he even gets to hit him with mighty blow as well i got away with it luck a dog absolute luck a dog it doesn't follow oh because of the claw pump i guess <clears throat> and you can gaze him as well Still, bit of a pickle. Bit of a pickle. Yeah, well, because of the retreat last turn, isn't it? It's like it's just all, it's just all gone wrong from like the first turn, basically. The f it's since the first turn went too wide, and ball without support, and it's just all gone wrong right from the start. It's, it's, yeah, he. It's a mess. He, he retreated way too deep, didn't he? Absolutely way too deep, giving himself a lot of work, and that cage was. Worst cage ever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's it's charitable to even call it a cage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. You know, that was so bad. Space Cadet was looking at that going, "Fuck me, that's bad." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at, at least make the like you know, a vamps and a wizard is is really hard to defend. But at least make them do something. <laughs> Don't just give them a free, a free two D. Yeah, don't let them behind before you build it. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a really tough it was a really tough situation, really tough situation. In fact, still these removals are racking up, aren't they? Yeah. Um, you know. And then hand off. I like I like the hand off. Recovers his guy. Doesn't you know risk the ball on the ground as much? In comes a fireball. All resist. <laughs> wow. I quite like that fireball as well. Two really good players under it, you know, and you don't need it to hit the ball, but uh, it can make tidy things up a lot. I, I don't hate that wizard. That was a kind of wizard that I could have used against Sindane when I, when I lost to Sindane, who, you know, in, in the Chalice a few seasons ago. It was this it was a time you don't really need it, but it can be really good. Oh, wow. Wow. Two rerolls used on, used on ball sacks. Caution. Sorry, mate. I was um, distracted, AFK for a second there. So no um, you, I, I could hear you talking a lot, but I didn't absorb a word of it. <laughs> really sorry. <laughs> no problem. It's all pretty relevant, calcium. Oh my god, another Kaz. Another yeah. Kaz. He's he's taken the rock. He's cast his own thralls. And yet, even with such few players, oh my god, he's going to do the pass. He's done the pass, and the oh, edge five wow. catches. <clears throat> Holy moly! So what we're saying, Jim, right, is Ungun has imploded his own team and still scored. Yeah. So, if I was caution right now, I'd be sort of trying to hide somewhere, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, this, this game didn't happen. Don't watch it. Don't watch it, boys. Don't watch the mod! <laughs> actually, I think I think Caution did mention that earlier yeah. in the chat. Don't watch it. Yeah, don't he watch. Did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've all been there, haven't we? We've all been there. Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 is, it is tricky. It's very tricky, you know, like that. I, I kept saying that about my game versus Rick, and I had elves to, like, you know, be able to move around wherever I wanted and everything, right? It is hard against, like, vampires with a wizard. It's, like, so hard to defend against. I think you should try and defend against it, but it is hard to defend against it, certainly. Yeah. And now he's got to try and score in four turns, which is much harder than eight, right? Because now you might overextend and get scored on again. Like, quite, it's against, quite uh, easy to go for yeah. too hard. Against arguably one of the best defensive teams in Blood Bowl, backed by a wizard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I 
It's not even that. It's not even twice as hard, Tony. It's it's way harder than twice as hard because it's it's the counter score of the vamps. That's the that is the thing. They really are terrifying. I don't think it's arguably one of the best defensive teams. I think it's it's absolutely one of the best defensive teams in football. Yeah. And then with a wizard as well. How like certainly against this kind of team, right? Elves less bad. With elves, you can keep the ball back. You can move it quickly, and you can just score more than them, and then let them you know roll their bloodlusts on offense and. And you know you can you can kind of make it a shootout with elves, but with a bash team, you know the, the vampires excel at breaking cages, and caging is really yeah, all they, you can do. Yeah. And <laughs> they can just they they they're just the superb can openers, aren't they? They can open up cages for fun, um, and chaos can't recover from it very well, no matter how much claw pawn they have. Yeah. <clears throat> but this is this is a good start, very good start. Really good, really solid actually, isn't it? Only two people on this side. Most of them are over there, already over the halfway line. So this is... He wouldn't have felt too bad if this had been turn five of his first drive, right? <laughs> yeah. Ten, ten vamps left. <laughs> yes, James. <laughs> I want to see the the, the calcium, <laughs> the calcium challenge accepted, bitches. The, the calcium vampire team called the eighty five bears. That's that's what I want to see. Is it the eighty five bears? Maybe. Yeah. Oh wow! For fuck's sake, James! I'm never living that shit down. Am I? <laughs> third, third dub scum, isn't it? I think. Or maybe he just greeted one of the hits, but uh, brutal. Like he was he was hitting the ball, wasn't he? I don't. Maybe second dub scum. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, last three roll through. <clears throat> yeah, he doesn't have tackle to hit the van, so he can he can whack these two out, can't he? Bang these two out there and then blitz him and then he's got he's got a channel. Is what I think he has to do, but he needs pals. Other than the pass that you could consider relatively lucky, not the catch, but certainly the pass, three, yeah. I I don't think Gungun's dice have been good at all. <laughs> you no. know. So I would, I would have considered putting that in for the three because you you need the you need the knockdown you need the knockdown here as well. I would have I would have thought about rerunning that because you just need the knockdown to come through here. I think. But even yeah. then, if you come through there, then you just get wrecked by the vamps assaulting your cage and counter scoring. It's two out of five vamps, isn't there? So you can't. Yeah. Maybe you can't even do that move. <laughs> even on a power, maybe you just can't move do that move at all. Anyway, absolutely horrible. I wonder if he was tempted to pile on there. Pile on? Can't, pi can't no. pile on, obviously. Well, he pushed, but, but yeah. <laughs> no, he, he had he had to get a power move. I think he had to move this turn, but the problem is he probably can't because he just leaves him too exposed to the fans. Yeah, absolutely. But I know a little bit of uh, Caution Soul died there, not being able to pile on an AG5 vampire when you get a straight pal <laughs> <laughs> with claw palm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, maybe he does. Like, maybe he should. Maybe you should just give up on the score this half, and maybe you should pile on. Yeah. Yeah, taking that, taking that vampire out. Big return for it, you know. For not scoring, but then vampires with a wizard, they're gonna two turn the nuts off of you, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> another dub schools, and oh, that leaves wow. it open. Oh, oh look at that. rowdy! So that doesn't necessarily stick, does it? No, it doesn't stick no. because he's still got the apo. But wow, this is uh, this is a golden opportunity for caution. Just needs to not roll the ball down. <laughs> and then he needs to power him with a tackle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you blitz with the ball carrier here? You have to. I think you have to, you're right. Oh actually, can he free up the other Yeah, he can free oh, up okay. the other tackler. Yeah, that's okay. Oh yeah, you might have been AFK when he used the whiz, but he used the whiz earlier. <laughs> Oh, well, he's not uh, hitting the vampire, because... Okay. 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 Um, he would have got... Would he have got an armor break on the vamp? Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, he's handing off to the warrior for the title. Love to see it. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, that's that's not bad, is it? That's not bad. Like it's also not particularly good because I had five vamps, but that's pretty good. Uh, he's only a hypno away from freeing up those vamps, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. So there we well, go. Two, oh, two, two, two hypnos. Yeah, he's got the assist, but now this guy needs another hypno, doesn't he? That's still blood step on the ball carrier, Jim. Yeah. Oh, he's got Dauntless Rackle. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, okay. that's some that's some 4D chess shit going on right there, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, that's Dauntless some next Rackle. Level, next level admin blood bowl. That is. Got a runner. Got a runner thrall there, isn't it? Rackle Dauntless, unbelievable. Yeah. Wow, oh, dub skulls. There's been so many dub skulls in this game. Holy moly. I don't know what his plan was here. Don't mention chess and Ungun. <laughs> well, I don't know, is that thing? Can I pause it? <clears throat> I don't know what the plan was, because, like, you've got 4-4-3-2-2, four, four, two, two, haven't you? That's all you've got, isn't it? That's literally mm. all you've got there. Would have failed anyway, obviously, with rolling dub skulls. Maybe he's just, yeah, like, yeah. hit with a claw pommer and then, and then do the score again. You can't really begrudge Ungun that run of dice last turn as well, can you? Because let's be fair, he's rolled some pretty crap dice up to yeah. that point, yeah. you know, and he's and he's taken some big shots as well. So, yeah. But he'll be really happy, won't he? Going in half time, a one nil up against the drive. Yeah. Now he's just got a two turn, bang it in, and then uh, that's it. <laughs> Caution. Caution's crying about it in chat. Look. <laughs> <laughs> it's for the sack. No. <laughs> he definitely had crap dice for the sack. Yeah. Yeah, we, we hear your caution. We we feel your pain, my brother. We feel your pain. Yeah. Yeah. We're like also really it. <laughs> We're loving it. <laughs> Wizard failed everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Timmy. Oh, dear. Yeah. To be fair, Frosty. Yeah, you're not. You're that. You're, you're not going to get much sympathy, are you? When, when you when you coach Claw Pom Chaos, then <laughs> that's never the team getting the sympathy in any in any kind of matchup. No, you are painting yourself as uh, the bad guy, the heel somewhat, aren't you? So. <laughs> yeah, amazingly, Unga not shitting the bad, yeah. That may be so, Dimmy, but it doesn't mean to say that we haven't seen him shit the bed. <laughs> like, I... one chalice. Fucking hell, there's hope for us shitheads yet. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> like, no, I've, I've seen him go and play well, to be fair. There's someone who I haven't seen play well. Well, I don't know who it is. Ungun's literally the only coach I can beat consistently over the last season and a half. It's been great. <laughs> Here we go. So you could just club on vamps, haven't you, basically? Yeah, absolutely. 
There we are. No time for uh, sitting back. Pile on. Oh, yeah. That's what we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Apple comes in, fails. <laughs> what about the regen? Works. Boy, rowdy. Love to see it. Said no one ever. <laughs> <laughs> Unger and Sphincter can relax. <laughs> Yeah, un yeah, Ungern's a mad lad, isn't he? Because there's the, there's, the, there's the chest clip of him as well, which is, like, completely bonkers. So, like, Ungern's just, just a lunatic, basically. Just, like... I don't know what his deal is, if he just thinks it's funny to mess about sometimes, or if he's on drugs sometimes, or what. <laughs> but, like, really, it's really weird. The, the chest clips particularly are hilarious. Oh, you haven't seen the Ungern chess clip? It's a, it's a, it's completely amazing. It's no, I haven't seen it either. Oh, so if anyone's got a link, uh, oh, oh, did Dimmy did, did Dimmy just share the link a minute ago? No, no, oh, no, that, that was, was a Google spreadsheet. Yeah, yeah, that was the chalice things. A Dev oh, might have it, I think. <clears throat> yeah, Ungern, Ungern playing chess. Um, it's like some big YouTuber, you know, who's like really good and. Uh, and like Ungern's really good at chess, you know, like he's got like, you know, massive rating, like really good compared to normal people, you know, not saying he's not saying he's a grandmaster or anything. But he's uh he's really good and uh and then he just starts like playing worse than me. <laughs> like and these people <laughs> these these people are like going insane the commentators. <laughs> it was it was completely hilarious. There you go. Thanks, Ada. Oh amazing. Oh, I'll have to watch that later. <laughs> Like, like, there's a guy like brandishing a, a teach teach children chess book, and he's like, he needs to read this and stop. <laughs> it's amazing. Two thousand Elo player can't checkmate with a rook. There you go. One hundred fifty thousand views. I don't know about you, Jim. I got a lot of time for people that press the big red fuck it button now and again. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, it, come on. What's not to like about it? Yeah. So like I don't know if Ungern's just trolling, right? Because he's he's right, like you know he's won a chalice, he's ranked two thousand in chess and that, and he just does like wild things and plays garbage sometimes. Like even there, why didn't he go like one two three? Oh, that was caution. Why didn't caution go one two three? Isn't that better? What am I missing? He's at five, so it was a three plus. So he could have gone one, two. So he could have made two two pluses. Three. Was he was he on the? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe just a mad fucker. <laughs> maybe he lets the mop play sometime. <laughs> he lets the mop play. Oh dear. <laughs> the fucking mop. <laughs> one of the great, one of the great memes. Probably the best thing Rebels ever done for for the Twitch community. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it was because they they kicked out well, the guy they kicked out. Amazing. Oh, gets the big pow. That is a big pow. And the removal. Huge removal. Huge, and now we've got the tackle hit. Yep, double GFI yep. hit. <laughs> yeah, and the French guy goes completely nuts, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't watched it yet, Red Hair. I'm really looking forward to watching it in a bit. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't get the knockdown on four dice. Diced. No, Ungern's the one playing uh, LVD. Ungern is the one that they're, they're criticising and saying he needs to read a children's book on how to play chess. Despite him being 2,000 rated, which obviously I've got no idea how good that is, but I, I guess the fact that they're watching him means that 2,000 must be quite high. Oh, there you go. 
2 0. G and G. Yeah. It should be, shouldn't it? Should be. You know, he had some chances on defense there, didn't he? Caution, but. The main thing is the offense. I mean, that was the, that was the nightmare scenario, wasn't it? Offense against these fuckers. They've got a wizard. How do you defend? And I, yep. it, it, I guess it would be worth going back and looking at how he could have played the first and second and third turn better, I guess, because I guess that's where he lost the drive because he just ended up all spread <coughs> out and, and weird and, and running back and unsupported. And it was, it was just kind of horrible. So I guess the mistakes came earlier than, than when he got in the horrible position. As you said, Jim, so difficult to defend against vamps. You can actually find yourself unwittingly making a mistake. Uh, the problem is you're going to get punished for it. And, you know, and you can't deny Ungern the opportunities he's had. He hasn't rolled great dice. His team has been punished somewhat. Um, this has got to be, a, this has got to feel like a sweet victory against, uh, you know, and hey, the rest of the, the rest of the Chalice competition members are breathing a sigh of relief that this team has dropped out or is about to drop out. Mm. And I don't know the result. I'm assuming they've lost now on turn 12. I have no idea what the result is. Given cautions, don't watch it, don't watch it, <laughs> Rant, at the, at the beginning yeah, of the we, game. We can, we can certainly assume he's not going to score two. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, so 2000 is extremely good. <laughs> yeah, so I guess sometimes he just like sometimes he just like <laughs> he just doesn't give a fuck. It's weird, isn't it? Because he's got to give mo a fuck most of the time to get the two thousand elo, hasn't he? And he's got to give a shit most of the time to get a seventy percent win rate and win a chalice. But then sometimes. I would love to know where that line is between really, really caring and playing well and then suddenly going, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I've seen Ungern play bad, like, as Adev said, seen him play bad so many times. <laughs> oh. Probably a few lines. <laughs> <laughs> I've got no idea, man. No idea. Once in a while he has to sober up. <laughs> ah, right. Oh, so he just did, yeah, so he's definitely just trolling down right, okay. But it feels like he does it in Blood Bowl too. Yes, that's the biggest line. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So now really all, all Caution can do is take out a good player on his way out, isn't he? Because he ain't fucking in. <laughs> Pretty much. I guess there's a chance, right, if you score this turn. You score this turn, and then you've got three turns to score. And obviously you've still got, obviously you've still got to play for it. There's a chance. But with one re-roll... And against vamps with two edge five vamps, it's obviously pretty, pretty. F and yeah. they haven't lost that many people. Like right? they've taken four cars, but they've still got eleven men. And they've, uh, you know, they mostly hurt their own things. And it's and they're only down thralls. That's the thing. Lots of people read the Reddit and say hit the thralls, but that's fucking shit because vamps <laughs> still win when they, if with you know without thralls, they don't win without vampires. No, he double one. Oh, that's brutal. But yeah, hit the throws. What, you mean hit the players with average stats that you actually want dice rolls on <laughs> and not target the key players that are actually going to open up your cage, strip you of the ball and score against you? Yeah, exactly. Reddit's a wonderful place, isn't it? It is, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, maybe fighting mongoose, maybe. <laughs> the Andy Culpin of niche strategy kit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> yeah, Reddit is the best place to downvote me. If you're really clever and a cyanide dev, you can you can downvote me on <laughs> on the Discord as well. <laughs> <laughs> is that actually a thing? Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. I, I actually, I actually, I actually, uh, I actually like, uh, you know, said nice things about Blood Bowl too, and they they gave me a th they responded with a thumbs down emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Flip me. Yeah, unfortunately, calling Blood Bowl free a steaming pile of shit is actually a compliment. <laughs> yeah, no, I was saying like the something about Blood Bowl too. I, I don't know what it was that I said, but like you know, it was something like you know, I don't know what it was, but it's sort of something like you know, the fifteen seconds in the opposing turn is really good, you know, for the sidestep. But so some some bullshit, something that I said yeah. was really good, and then they they just fucking downvoted what I said was really good. It was unbelievable. Like I literally just said something about Blood Bowl too is really good, and then then they they responded with a thumbs down emoji. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, me and you, Jim, we won't be holding our breath for the free product key as one of the preferred streamers of Blood Bowl. <laughs> no, I wouldn't accept it anyway. <laughs> I just wouldn't accept it. Like, it just hurts my eyes and, 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 like, it gives people headaches. It's like, it's actually, it's actually better to just not play it, isn't it? I have zero desire to play it. Zero desire to play it. Mm. You know, and... And holy shit, do I wish I did! But it's just—it's just horrendous. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. I would not play it for free. I wouldn't accept it as a gift. Oh wow! Look at this. Edge five dodge, ignoring tackle zones. Classic. And then bloodlust does not exist in this dojo. <laughs> <laughs> It's maybe a little unnecessary, but it's all academic now, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe he thinks if he gets the ball on there, then Caution will go for the ball instead of just claw pumping his best player. But I think, <laughs> I think Caution might just claw pump this guy. Yep, sure yeah. looks like it. Yeah. I got a lot of respect for your classic. Bash coach trying to make your victory as hollow as humanly possible. Yeah. Oh, and he's killing! There we go. Talk that shit in. And if you don't like this, go fuck yourself. Go and play something else. Ah, <laughs> oh, regen worked. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. 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 Oh, hell boy. <laughs> Look at all that tackle. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me. Uh, hello Marzum. It's it's basically not. I'm just gonna make versions on on 2K22 and just do rumbles on 2K22. I mean I guess we could maybe eventually make something on 2K22. But at the moment, it's just it's just going to be for rumbles because it's it's worse. The, the the viewing angle is not like it is on TV, so it's just it's just literally worse than two K nineteen. And maybe they'll fix it eventually, but I don't see why they would. <laughs> yeah, only slightly, right, Sean? But yeah, I'm I'm glad you appreciate how good my impressions are. <laughs> I think Gungan should have passed the ball back to the chaos there just to assert some dominance. Yeah, maybe you know, that's what you should have done last turn, right? To try yeah. and stop his guy getting claw pumped. Yeah, encourage him, you know, encourage Caution to actually care about the ball, which he really, really doesn't right now. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, exactly, Penny. You might, might use it for, like, your special occasions, right? Like, if, if uh, you know, if, say, Calcium get, gets in a... gets in a... gets in a feud with... with uh, Tony plays poorly. We could have like a mixed tag match with when with Wendy and Calcium versus Mia Khalifa and Tony, <laughs> you know, something <laughs> like that. <laughs> we could do things like that, but uh, mostly I think it's going to be two K twenty two is just a bit shit. Unfortunately, Dimmy, I can't possibly comment on uh, Daedal not scoring because I like not being banned from his channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. 
Right, keep it clean, boys. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all good. It's all good. No, but yeah, I, I was, I was, I, I was very sad that I didn't meme on on Deirdre in my in my in my second round challenge game. I really meant to. <laughs> I've just forgot. But I was so proud of my. Uh, at least you tried that. I, I thought I'd already, I'd already killed, I'd already killed Alma enough with that. I didn't want to, I didn't want to go overboard. <laughs> yeah, Spanish dental caution. None of these people should watch this. French, no, basically nobody should watch this vod. Just to be safe, uh, just don't watch the vod. Right, thank you, uh, thank you. Congratulations, Ungern. Commiserations, caution. Thank you very much, Calcium, for the core commentary. Absolutely glorious as ever. Oh, thank you very much. That's much better than yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be my new thing. Brilliant. <laughs> It should be just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.